हेलो एवरी वन एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट वी आर डेली पोस्टिंग वीडियोज ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट केस रिलेटेड एम सी क्यूज इन फर्दरेंस ऑफ दैट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस एविडेंस केस रिलेटेड एविडेंस केस लॉ रिलेटेड एम सी क्यूज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द केस ऑफ सवल दास वर्स स्टेट ऑफ बिहार इज रिलेटेड टू रूल ऑफ जस जस्टे क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वीन वर्सेज अब्दुल्ला केस लॉ इज रिलेटेड टू कंडक्ट The case of Dudnath Pandey versus State of UP is related to plea of alibi. The bride, the brides in the Bath case is based in which based on which section of Indian Evidence Act? Correct answer is section fifteen. Important case related identification parade is case related is with this question is Ram Nathan versus State of Tamil Nadu. Which of the following statement is correct? The latest approach towards the evidentiary value of identification parade, as laid down by the Supreme Court in Anil Kumar versus State of UP, is that a mandatory evidence, b evidence which may be dispensed with, c corroborative evidence in criminal proceedings, d evidence to support or to rebut any fact before the court in criminal proceedings. Here the correct statement is d evidence to here the correct statement is d. Evidence to support or to rebut any fact before the court in criminal proceedings. In R. M. Malkani v. State of Maharashtra, is related to which of the following? Correct answer is A. Relevancy of facts forming the part of same transactions. R. M. Malkani v. State of Maharashtra. The principle that statement of facts contained in a newspaper is merely hearsay has recently been re reiterated by the Supreme Court in Joseph M. Putusri versus T S John. In which of the following cases, Supreme Court held that evidence recorded through video conferencing is admissible under the Indian Evidence Act, eighteen seventy two. Correct answer is State of Maharashtra versus P Bala Desai. Match list one and list two. List one say list one contains questions of Noor Muhammad versus Imtiaz Ahmed. B Pratap Singh versus State of Punjab. C Shardul Singh versus State of Bombay. D Raghunath versus State of U P. Correct answer is Noor Muhammad v. Imtiaz Ahmed, Section 6 of Indian Evidence Act; Pratap Singh v. State of Punjab, Section 7 of Indian Evidence Act; Sardul Singh v. State of Bombay. Correct answer is Section 8 of Indian Evidence Act; and Raghunath v. State of UP. Correct answer is Section 17 of Indian Evidence Act. It has been held by the Supreme Court in R M Malkani v. State of Maharashtra that a contempt Contemporaneous tape record of a relevant conversation is a relevant fact. It is let's just say. In which of the following cases the Supreme Court held that the tape recorder tape recorded conversation is admissible if relevant to the matter? Correct answer is C. R. M. Malkani v. State of Maharashtra. Match list one and list two. List one says blood stains and blood group. B. Automatic camera. C. Tape recorded statement and D. Handwriting. Here the correct answer is blood stains and blood group. Blood stains and blood group. Correct answer is B versus Attorney General. Automatic camera. Correct answer is Yusuf Ali versus State of Maharashtra. Tape recorded statement. This is decided in State of Gujarat versus Chote Lal. Partni. Handwriting. Reg versus Dodson. The correct answer is B. Question number fourteen. Indunath Singh versus State of Uttar Pradesh is related with TIP Test Identification Parade. The TIP Test Identification Parade is only an aid to investigation. The practice is not born out of practice, but out of prudence. Was held by the Supreme Court in which case? Siddharth Vashisht alias Manu Sharma versus State NCT of Delhi AIR two thousand ten. In which of the following cases is known as the Lamington Road shooting conspiracy case? The correct answer is C. Emperor versus Vaishampa Vaishampayan. Photo fit that is superimposed photograph of the deceased over the skeleton of human body skull recovered from a tank to prove the fact that the skeleton was that of the deceased was held to be admissible by the Supreme Court in India. In which of the following case? 
Here the correct answer is A. Ram Lochan vs. State of West Bengal. The Supreme Court judgment in Anwar P. V. vs. P. K. Bashir dealt with A. Admissibility of electronic records as evidence. The five golden principles which constitutes the punch shield of the proof as case based on the circumstantial evidence was laid down in B. Sharad vs. State of Maharashtra AIR 1984 SC 1622 In the State of Maharashtra, in the State of Maharashtra vs. Dr. Praful B. Desai 2003, the Supreme Court of India held that recording of evidence through video conferencing so long the accused or his or his pleader are present while recording is as per the procedure established by law, hence valid. Question number 21. In which of the following judgments Supreme Court laid down the procedure regarding dealing with the objections as to the admissibility of the documents and other items of evidence? Correct answer is D. Bibin Chander Panchal vs. State of Gujarat AIR 2001. In which of the following cases did the Supreme Court hold that a tape recorded conversation is admissible as res geste? Correct answer is Yusuf Ali vs. State of Maharashtra. The case of Kashmira Singh vs. State of Madhya Pradesh relates to confession of a co accused. The, consti the constitutionality of which section of the Indian Evidence Act was challenged in State of UP vs. Deoman Upadhyay for the violation of Article 14 of the Constitution? Correct answer is section 27. In which of the following judgment, Supreme Court ruled that section 27 is an exception to the section 25 and 26 of Evidence Act. Correct answer is Inayatullah vs. State of Maharashtra. The statement is an order to constitute a confession under Indian Evidence Act must either admit in terms of offence or at any rate substantially all facts which constitute the offence. The our view the expressed by the Privy Council in which of the following cases? Which of the following case? B. Parkland Narayan Swami vs. Emperor. Palvinder Kaur vs. State of Punjab relates to which of the following? Confession. In which of the following cases, the Supreme Court held that confession of a co-accused are very weak evidence and no conviction can be based solely on such confession? Correct answer is C. Kashmira Singh vs. State of MP. Which of the following case is not related to the confession? Correct answer is TJ Poonam vs. MC Varghese. Otherwise, these three, case, these three cases are related to confession. These cases are Pulukumari Kotaya vs. King Emperor, State of UP vs. Deoman Upadhyay, State of Bembe vs. Kathi Kalu. These three are related to confession. Confession can be the result of self-talk. Communication of confession to another person is not necessary was held in the case of C. Sahu vs. State of UP. During the course of investigation, information received from an accused who is in police custody leads to the discovery about arms, clothes, ornaments, corpus, which are related with the offence are limited under Section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act. The principle laid down in the case law of A. Pulgari Kotaya vs. Emperor. In which of the following cases, the Supreme Court held that any information or material that is subsequently discovered with the help of voluntary administered test result can be admitted in accordance with the section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act. Correct answer is A. Selvi vs. State of Karnataka. In which, in which of the following cases was the constitution validity of section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act upheld? Correct answer is A. State of Uttar Pradesh vs. Deoman Upadhyay. In which of the following cases, the constitutional validity of Section 27 of the Indian Evidence Act was challenged on the basis of being violative of Article 20, Clause 3 of the Indian Constitution? Correct answer is B. State of Bombay vs. Kathikalu. A confession can even consist of conversation to oneself, for is it not necessary for the relevancy of a confession that it should be communicated to some other person was held in the case of Sahu vs. State of UP? This is a repeated question. It has already been asked. In which case, Section 27 of Indian Evidence Act was held to be valid under Article 14 of the Constitution of India? Correct answer is State of UP vs. Deoman Upadhyay. List 1 and List 2. List 1 consists of A. Confession caused by inducement, threat or promise 
B. Confession to customs officer. C. Confession in the FIR given by the accused. D. Discovery of fact pursuant to a statement in the police custody. Here the correct answer is Confession caused by inducement, threat or promise. Correct answer is Pyarelal Bhargav vs. State of Rajasthan. Confession to a customs officer. Correct answer is State of Punjab vs. Bhaktaran. C. Confession in the FIR given by the accused. Correct answer is Agnu Nagesia vs. State. Discovery of fact. D. Discovery of a fact pursuant to the statement in police custody. Correct answer is State of Bombay vs. Katukal. Which one of the following is a leading case on, on confession to a person in authority? Correct answer is Pyarelal Bhargav vs. State of Rajasthan is the leading case of confession to a person in authority. Which of the following is a leading case on confession? Correct answer is QE vs. Babulal. State of UP vs. Devman Opadhyay is concerned with B. Confession. Knowledge of STD booth from where the accused person talked with each other is relevant for section 27 of the Evidence Act. It was laid down by the Supreme Court in Abu Thagir vs. State AIR 2009 SC 2797. State of Maharashtra vs. Damu Gopinath Shinde relates to discovery of evidence. Which of the following cases is not related to confession? Correct answer is D. MC Varghese vs. Ponnan. Otherwise, these all three cases are related to confession. Kotaya vs. King Emperor, State of UP vs. Devamanapadhyay, State of Bombay vs. Kathi Kalu. Related to confession. In which of the following cases did the Supreme Court hold that a confession must either admit in terms of office or to any rate substantially all the facts which constitute the offence? Correct answer is B. Palvinder Kaur vs. State of Punjab. The case of Pakla Narayan Swami vs. King Emperor relates to dying declaration. Kaushal Rao vs. State of Bombay AIR 1958 is related to is related with which topic of law of evidence? Correct answer is dying declaration. Kaushal Rao vs. State of Bombay. In which one among the following cases the Supreme Court of India said that it is not an absolute rule of law that dying declaration must be corroborated by other evidence before it can be acted upon? Correct answer is C. Kaushal Rao vs. State of Bombay. Which one of the following cases is directly related to Section 32 Clause 1 of the Indian Evidence Act? Correct answer is Pakla Ran Swami vs. King Emperor. Queen Empress vs. Abdullah is a leading case on D. Dying Declaration. Case of Pakla Narayan Swami vs. King Emperor is related to C. Section 32 Clause 1 Declaration of Indian Evidence Act. Which one of the following case is not a case of dying declaration? Answer is C. Sitaram vs. State of UP. Otherwise, these all three cases are related to dying declaration. These are Ratnam God vs. State of Bihar, Paniven vs. State of Gujarat and Kaushal Rao vs. State of Maharashtra related to dying declaration. Where a married woman dying of burns was a person of unsound mind and the medical certificate was which saved her physical fitness for a statement and not the state of mind at the crucial moment in which the following cases the court said that the statement could not be relied upon. Cases, case Supreme Court held in Ukaram vs. State of Rajasthan. Which one of the following is not a leading case on dying declaration? D. Deep Chand vs. Rajasthan. These three are the Leading cases on dying declaration, Kaushal, Kaushal Rao vs. State of Bombay, Moti Singh vs. State of UP and R vs. Jenkins. These are important cases on dying declaration. Which court gave the final judgment in the case of Pakna Ran Swami vs. King Emperor? Correct answer is Privy Council. Every student may be treated as an expert under section 45 of the Indian Evidence Act. It was laid down by the Supreme Court in Kanpur University vs. Samir Gupta and others. 1983. In which of the following judgment it was ruled that when two medical experts differ in their opinion on the same point, court must accept the opinion which fit the direct testimony. The correct answer is A. Pyra Singh vs. State of Punjab, AIR 1977. 
in which case supreme court held that an expert evidence is a weak type of evidence and is not safe to rely upon it without seeking independent and reliable corroboration correct answer is c s kopala reddy versus state of andhra pradesh in which case supreme court held that where there is inconsistency between eye witness on the point of how the injury was caused the evidence of doctor cannot override the unimpeachable testimony of common eye witness correct answer is d darshan singh versus state of haryana in which of the following cases supreme court raised doubts regarding the applicability of the doctrine of equitable stopped beyond section 115 evidence act correct answer is b mandappa versus chandramma section 115 of the indian evidence act is founded upon the doctrine laid down in which of the following case picard versus sears which section of indian evidence 1872 was founded upon the doctrine laid down versus picard versus sears correct answer is section 115 the case of sharad chandra dev versus gopal chandra laha is related to which of the following section of indian evidence act 1872 section 115 Which one of the following is not a case of estoppel? Correct answer is Palvinder Kaur versus State of Punjab. Otherwise, these three cases are related to cases of estoppel. These three cases are Pickard versus Sears, Sri Krishna versus Kurukshetra University, Sharad Chandra Jay versus Gopal Chandra Laha. Dagdu versus State of Maharashtra is related with accomplice. In which of the following judgments delivered by the Supreme Court in 2015 it was held that it is imperative if the examination chief is over the cross examination should be com- should be completed the same day correct answer is Vinod Kumar versus state of Punjab In which celebrated judgment did the honorable supreme court classify the witness into three categories wholly reliable wholly unreliable neither wholly reliable nor wholly unreliable correct answer is A Vaidyavli Thiwar versus state of Maharashtra Madras In which of the following cases the Supreme Court held that where the witness became confused in the course of examination, the court could put questions to him before question to him to elicit the truth. Correct answer is State of Rajasthan versus Ening. In which case Supreme Court upheld video conferencing as a vital tool for collecting evidence where the witness may not be convention conventionally or necessarily be examined in court. Correct answer is State of Maharashtra versus Dr. Profil B. Desai. relationship is not a factor to affect the credibility of a witness is laid down by the supreme court in s darshan reddy versus state of andhra pradesh relationship is not a factor to affect credibility of a witness in which of the following cases the supreme court supreme court recently held that recall of witness cannot be permitted endlessly on the pretext of fair trial correct answer is a state of haryana versus ram meher 2016 which of the following is a leading case on entries in books of accounts when relevant correct answer is lk advani versus cbi which of the following cases constitu- cases constitutionality of section 73 of indian evidence act was challenged in violation of article 23 of the article 20 subsection 3 of the constitution correct answer is state of bombay versus kathikalu in which of the following case did the supreme court hold that a compelling person to give his specimen writing will not amount to testimonial confession for the purpose of article 20 clause 3 of the constitution of india correct answer is state of bombay versus kathikalu section 114a was introduced in the indian evidence act after widespread protest against which judgment correct answer is a tukaram versus state of maharashtra which of the following is not correctly matched d jayanti bai bhendra bai versus state of gujarat conspiracy this is not correctly matched otherwise all these three are correctly matched dhananjay chatterjee versus state of bengal circumstantial evidence state of maharashtra versus suresh ti parade cbi versus vc shukla entries in the book of account these all three questions are correctly matched and this is not correctly matched the supreme court in which case hold that no individual should be forcibly subjected to narco analysis test whether in criminal cases or otherwise correct answer is selvi was a state of karnataka this question is important question according to the judgment in selvi and others was a state of karnataka does not violate the personal liberty the collection of specimen signature and handwriting in which of the following cases decided by the supreme court in 2015 it was held that cctv footage is the best evidence 
Tomaso Burno versus State of Uttar Pradesh. In this case, it was decided that CCTV footage is the best evidence. The case of Pakalanar and Swami versus Emperor relates to dying declaration. Which of the following case is deals with the testimony of child witness? Correct answer is State of Maharashtra versus Damnu, son of Gopinath Shinde, AIR 1999. Thank you for watching entire video and giving your appreciation. Please follow us by subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.